I don't get it. If they say that GLUT's cleared, why are they going to continue to extend the cuts? Doesn't that only mean massive upside for oil? Yes, it means massive upside for oil, which I think has been my theme with you for the last you have, year and you a half. Have. And there's nothing to stop the train at this point. I know people are talking about the geopolitical risk right now as the last mm -hmm. entry into the spike on top of the spike on oil that has sent Brent prices again over $70 a barrel. And there is some of that there. But again, the fundamentals are really strong. There is a stickiness to oil prices here in WTI above 60. And we haven't been able to break under it. And I'm telling you that geopolitical uh, risk is not as much as being implied into the oil market. There is fundamentally a strong case for oil continuing sorry above 70 above 75 and above 80 this year but part of why the market's so tight is because demand's been so good two That's million right. barrels a day for the first quarter does that hold up india's not going to like 75 80 dollar oil i mean every every projection is that global demand is as strong not only but historically strong i mean a million and a half barrels a day increase in demand for 2018 19 20 21 as far as the iea sees demand is not going to be the issue in terms of oil prices mm -hmm. going higher and then remaining constructive over the next several years. It's not so, going to be a demand problem. How do you play it? So let's get into the Bloomberg here because this let's, is something that's been that. uh, puzzling many people in the oil market <laughs> in 2018 me. is the difference between uh, energy stocks, the white line and oil prices, uh, the yellow line. Why the gap do we catch up now? Well, why the gap is, uh, you, again, it's been frustrating for me as well. I mean, in my entire career, I could bank on buying oil stocks if I could predict where oil prices, the oil barrel price was going. So if I thought, and I did, and I was right, that oil prices were going higher, and yet not cashing in on the oil stock side, that has become a frustration for me. Now, there's lots of reasons we speculate why. There's been sort of a bounce in the dollar. There's been a, a thought that maybe young hedge fundies don't really want to have oil stocks in their portfolios. They'd much rather have tech stocks. They feel oh, more comfortable with them than they do with old-fashioned, you know, oil stocks. I, there are a lot of reasons, but I think it's all a one-off. I don't think it's something that lasts, and I think that you're looking at a major opportunity in oil stocks based on an so, oil price that I think is continuing to go, will continue to go higher.